Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. It is a great day to be a junior potter here for science. And here's your science lesson for today for those of you at home. First off, we've got our bell ringer. It's always up there. Answer them up. This week's bell ringers are all about our cell organelles. So we're just getting more repetitious practice on knowing which organelle is what. Um, we also will have... We'll be doing some Quizlet Live in class here. I'm going to post a link to the flashcards so that you'll always have access to those flashcards if ever you need to use them um, because they're just good, good practicing tools there. Um, in class today, we're going to review that Potter Mania thing. If you submitted it, you should have already been able to see your right versus wrong answers. Some hours, we already did that yesterday, but uh, we'll review, go over it, why, which one's representing which there, make sure everything's all squared away, because what actual Pottervania actually leads into is our cell theme project, which that is what we're going to be dealing with here today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the folder for this whoop, right there for us um, so that we can see what's happening with it. So we got our bell ringer right there. We got our handout for a cell theme project. We're actually going to have a physical copy of this you're going to receive um, because there's going to be stuff that you're going to fill out on it and it's going to work a little bit easier if you have it on paper as opposed to uh, not on paper. So you're going to be receiving an actual physical copy of it but if you're at home you're just going to be um, using the handout that is listed here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up so that we can see it and look at this together because this is going to be our project. Actually, I'm going to bring it up on a different screen just because it's going to be bigger um, for us, or just by a little bit. Um, so here's the directions for what we've got going on with it. For our cell theme project or our cell analogy project, what you're going to be doing is that you're going to be creating a cell theme book using all of the organelles from both the plant and the animal cells. You're going to be using the storybook using the book creator app that is available on your iPad. So if you haven't downloaded the book creator app, you need to go ahead and do that. It, you should have plenty of space. If not, delete some of that other stuff on there. Um, it's kind of like a rainbow thing with a... Here, it kind of looks like this. So you can kind of see it hovering there. The book creator, I'm just going to drop it in there so that we can see it on there, and then I'm going to delete it in just a little bit. So it looks like that. That is the book creator app logo. It's one of the top things in the story because it's listed in alphabetical order. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be using all the functions of the organelles in the cell to create a story representative about a certain theme uh, to represent each one. So Pottervania the other day was about a town and all the things in the town doing their job to help the town function. That would be what our end goal is going to be looking like, comparing everything and having everything have a specific role inside of there. So we've been a... a Seen a bunch of them over the years. Schools, malls, zoos, sports themed, video game theme. I've pretty much seen a lot of them, uh, a lot of different ones out there. But there's always one or two each year that always surprise me that I get picked um, that I haven't been. Uh, your storybook's going to have 16 pages, which seems like a lot, but I'll explain what some of those ones are. For your first page, you're going to create a cover page with a creative title and make it look all nice and neat for you. Um, so already, boom. One of those pages done. And then the meat of it is that every page is going to be focusing on a different organelle. And just like, and I'll show you what that looks like when we look at our example here, but every page is going to have a different organelle. And in that page, you're going to underline where the organelle is actually going to be, your analogy to it. Because you're not going to say, oh, this is the cell membrane. No, you're going to say this is the fence. And then um, it's my job to kind of basically go through and figure out why that is the fence. The last page, the 16th page, is going to be a key listing off what everything actually represented. It's like the credits at the end of a movie. You tell who's playing what role. You put what object is playing what organelle as, as well as what page number it is going to be on. Um, that way I can just confirm that you also recognize that that should be what your stuff is. Uh, and then we got some stuff dealing with how to turn it in. We're going to deal with how to turn it in later on. Um, here's how it's broken down point-wise. You can see it's kind of a lot of them have to center around 14, since that's how many organelles that we have. Um, the first ones were 28 because that's making the comparison. So making sure that you make the correct comparison is basically worth double of some of the other 
um, situations there. So making sure that you have a visual, you have to have a picture with each one of them, making sure that you have the key at the end and making sure everything lines up with correct page numbers in there is uh, 14 for each one of them. Making sure that everything is tied in together in your story, that's worth 14. And then there's some other stuff just to, because it's in the book, making sure that you're spelling things correctly. You can always go back and relook at your spelling for things. Um, presentations, that may or may not happen. So that last 10 points might get eliminated, um, depending on how much time we have here. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. If we have time, we'll present them. If not, we won't. Um, when you're presenting, making sure that all that stuff can be heard in your presentation. Here's what you're going to be. So what, as far as what you're working on today, there's going to be a link to a Padlet. Um, and when you open up the Padlet, basically you're going to give me your idea for your theme. So you're going to tell me whatever your theme is. I'm going to reply back to it. And as soon as you get greened on there, it's just, it's very similar to how we did the other day with the uh, scientific method projects. As soon as you get greened, you're going to be good to go. And when you get good to go, here's what you're going to be filling out. It's the backside of this page here. And you're going to write down what your analogy is. So what are you comparing the cell membrane to? And then you're going to tell how it relates. So like for my example, for a fence, it is going to be, oh, here's my cell membrane. I'm comparing it to a fence. How it connects. They both are protecting the cell or the town in my case. Boom. That's all you have to do. Just tell how you're going to use it in your story. And then you're going to work it into your story um, in your actual stuff. So we have some things of what to do and what not to do at the bottom there, just to give you some hints as to how to fill this stuff out. Um, got some yeses and nos as far as how the story is written too, which we're going to go over more tomorrow. But as far as what you're doing today, that is what you are doing today. Submit your ideas to Padlet. I'm going to get back to you as quick as possible on that to make sure that you are good to go for green. Um, you don't have to, when you're in class, we're going to work on the outline on Thursday. So as long as you got your idea approved while you're in class, we'll still work on um, the outline because you might have some time. You can start fiddle, fiddling with it. But Thursday is when we're going to spend the meat of the time on the outline itself. So video tomorrow will be something very similar to this, but just focusing on the outline and what we want to see from the outline portion of it. So with that being said, we'll wrap up this video. I hope you're doing well out there and staying safe and you're back with us soon. And always remember, it is a great day to be a junior potter.